Well, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is Thursday, March 3rd, 2011. And thank you so much. I got several very positive comments about yesterday's program. I'm curious to see if I get a lot of positive comments about today's program. Because what we have to teach today is some of the hardest lessons that Jesus ever taught. So, we'll see if you like me now. Alright, after we teach this, let's get into it. Matthew chapter 8, verse 18. Now, when Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to go over to the other side. And a scribe came up and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Follow me, and leave the dead to bury their own dead. Now first of all, notice in verse 18, Jesus sees a crowd, and he decides to get away from the crowd. The opposite of what most churches like to do. We want to draw crowds, don't we? We certainly don't want to do anything to get rid of a crowd or get away from a crowd. But, even though he tries, of course people still come to him. And it says a scribe comes to him. A scribe, were, they were the people that, that uh, took and wrote word by word, copied the manuscripts into the language of the day so people could read the Old Testament for themselves. Uh, so they had to do it by hand. They didn't have printing presses back then. So these were important guys. And he comes up and he says, Hey, teacher. Notice he calls him teacher. Doesn't call him master. Doesn't call him lord. Doesn't call him savior. Calls him teacher. That's all he is to him. I will follow you wherever you go. All right. Jesus says, You know what? The animals got it better than me. You want to follow me, life's going to be hard. There's no easy ride following me. It seems as though Jesus is trying to sort of get rid of people here. He's certainly not wanting to draw a crowd. Now look at the next guy. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Follow me and leave the dead to bury their own dead. This guy says he's a disciple. So that he's got some level of commitment, some level of faith. He's been following Jesus around. And he wants to take it deeper. And Jesus says, you know, he just wants to go to his dad's funeral. And Jesus says, no. No, following me is more important than going to your own dad's funeral. Remember I said earlier, let's see how many of you like me now. Jesus said, following me is more important than going to your dad's funeral. Now, does he say we shouldn't go to our parents' funerals? or other? No. This guy is what, who Jesus said it to. You know, Jesus knows individual hearts. And he will tell you as an individual sometimes things that he won't tell somebody else. Now, there are general things. And in the Sermon on the Mount, they dealt, dealt with a lot of generalities. And there are general commands that are for everybody. This is a particular thing Jesus tells this particular guy. Maybe this guy was too attached to his father. Or the guy didn't have the level of commitment to Jesus that he needed. The simple fact is, Jesus is saying, I'm Lord. You want me, you got to do it my way. Is what he's saying. And we don't like that. He's going to prove he's Lord in the next passage. And I want you to come back tomorrow. He's already proved his Lord over disease. He's already proved his Lord over the demonic world. Tomorrow he's going to prove his Lord over the physical world. But he's absolutely Lord. And listen, if he is Lord and you are going to follow him, that means you are one thing and one thing only. You are a slave. You do not have rights. You cannot question your master. You cannot do what you want. You can only do what He gives you permission to do and what He tells you to do. Now, I know this is a hard teaching. I wonder how many of you are going to like me. 
That's what he's saying. That's why he tells a guy, you follow me, it's going to be harder for you than the animals got it. And that's why he tells the next guy, look, you follow me and you let dead people bury your dad. And he's saying they're spiritually dead. People that aren't following him are spiritually dead. You read this passage and you tell me if I'm not interpreting it correctly. Now, I like to be happy and have a good time. And most of these Take 5 broadcasts, you're going to see it. But when the text calls for seriousness, you're going to see seriousness from this teacher. And this is very serious stuff. You simply cannot go to heaven doing your own thing. Jesus has to be Lord. And if you want to get to heaven eventually, you're going to have to accept that he is Lord, which means you are his slave. I've gone almost six minutes now, and this is called Take 5, so I'm going to stop. Please come back tomorrow for another edition of Take 5.